Hello Sausage, this is Nana Beryl and today on The Sims 2 we're going to enter Spookyville and build a spooky house. Yes we are. So we're going to choose one of these medium lots and we're going to place it over here opposite to this house. Yes we are. Now let's just get it to sit in the right place and then we will name that I think Scary Lot instead of spooky because we've already done a spooky lot haven't we love yes we have now we're going to enter the scary lot so we can start building now let's have a look at the grid now it looks like it might be a little bit raised up in areas at the sides and back so i think we might have to flatten the lot completely by going to build mode into the spade and choose level and choose yes. There we go, that's better. Now we can start building. And should we do a wall or should we do a foundation? I think we might start with foundations instead. And yes, we'll start with foundation love. So we're going to start here. And we might leave a bit of a gap at the front to put a staircase so they can actually get up onto the uh, and onto the level of the house they need to to get inside because that helps love yes it does and so we're going to build more foundation over here so unlike my beauty routine love we build the foundation first yes we put the foundation on first whereas with my face we put concealer first love yes and that looks like a good foundation i think we might extend it a little bit over to the side yes it's a good foundation isn't it yes Unlike the dollar store foundation I'm wearing at the moment, love, which isn't good at all, dear. No, same with the concealer. Yes, it shows up all me cracks. It, I look a bit like a road map of the United States, dear. Yes, I do. You could, you could read me and travel across the United States. You could. You could go visiting Iowa. Yes, you could. Yes, who needs GPS, love, when you've got my face? That's all you need is a photo of my face, dear. You could travel from one state to the next. Now, put up some walls. Yes, put up some walls. Better be careful when I say that, love. I'm starting to sound like Donald Trump, aren't I? Put up some walls, love, yes. This is not to keep people out, though. This is just to provide them with some way of keeping the heat in their house, love. Yes, it is and some privacy so they don't walk around naked that's right everyone see them when they get naked so we're going to put some walls in for privacy yes and so we can decorate them to make the house look nice because decorating the house can sometimes be a thing now i think we'll do a two-story house a double story house yes we will and we will do another wall yes a short wall and then yes i think a short wall or should we do the long wall first? Yes, we'll do the long wall first. And across here as well. I'm a bit, I'm a bit uncoordinated, aren't I, love? I can't even put a wall together properly. You can imagine me if I was on a building site, couldn't you, love? I'd be all over the place. Oh, should we, now, should we make a wall across there? Yes, I think we will. And have this section separate. Yes, at the back. In fact, we might keep that top area there as a veranda, maybe. As a lanai. Is it a lanai or lanai? I can't remember the American name for it, for like a patio area. Oh, yes, we need to fill in that gap there too, don't we, love? Otherwise, the roof will be all over the place. Yes, and that's another thing too, when you build in the Sims 2, if you don't join the walls together and you put the roof on, and you're doing a double storied house, your roof will go down to the lower level, wherever there's a connected wall, so you'll end up with this really strange looking house. So that, that's better, that's, that's good, I think that's quite a good shape. Now I think we want a bit of a landing. And some wallpaper. Now because we want a spooky house with some wallpaper, I think we're just going to go to black, yes that's right. We're going to choose black wallpaper. Well actually no black paint, that's right. Now I can't remember if this is custom made paint, if I made this myself or whether it was already included in The Sims 2. 
Now, the Sims 2 comes with a piece of software called the Sims Home Crafter. Yes, Home Crafter. And you can, uh, you can find it usually in the Sims directory underneath where all your Sims files are. Not, not the project files, but in the actual directory where the game itself is installed on your computer. If you've got the Ultimate Edition, the Ultimate Collection I think it's called, um, usually you find it under where it says, I think it says Maxis. I'll have to look it up one day and show you. We'll put the directory in the comments below or in the details below the video, which I will do I think, so that you know where it is because you can make your own wallpapers as well like this one here. I created this ghost wallpaper and you can do that in any photo editing or image making program and you can save it as a JPEG or a bitmap. Usually I, th I think from memory I saved this one as a bitmap because that's what The Sims uses, I believe The Sims 2. And the good thing is the Home Craft program lets you automatically install it into the game. Yes it does. So you do everything from Home Crafter. Uh, but it does help if you have a photo editing program or some kind of graphics program where you can manipulate it, draw on it and then resave, you see. I might even do a tutorial on how you do it if you want. Leave some comments below if you're interested in learning how to make your own items for The Sims 2. Things like skins and, and also wallpapers and things like that because I can show you how I can give you a tutorial one day. So it's a very ghostly spooky house. Looks a bit bit tacky doesn't it, a bit cartoony. So it's a cartoony tacky house, it is, it's a tacky ghostly house. Reminds me of Scream with Ghostface, yes. So I think we're going to put a few walls in here and make a few little sections, including bedrooms. And I think we'll have to put a bathroom in here somewhere too because it helps if you have a bathroom so you can take a poo, yes. Because if you need, a, need to take a poo, you're going to need a bathroom, love, yes you will. And I think we'll do a wall on the other side here too, love, yes we will. We'll do some walls. Yes, we'll do a wall across there and a wall across here somewhere too, love, yes we will. Might use this as a lounge room, maybe. Yes, we'll do it a bit further over to allow for more space. That's right. They might create a corridor, too. Yes, we might. Maybe that's where we could put the bedrooms. I'm not going to create a definite room type. They're just going to be blank rooms for now. Probably helps if I join the wall up too, love. Yes, if I join the walls up to the end so that I can put some more wallpaper on. Yes. Now, let's have a look at downstairs. So we create some walls down here, love? This, maybe this could be the lounge instead. We could have a, a lounge area, a living room. Now, should I put an opening there and just let them walk in, like a walkway like this? So I've got a separate area. As you know, I think I'll cover it in and make an actual proper wall and a door. Yes, I will. So I'm going to create a wall. And I might even create a corridor in there too. Yes, I might. What about the wallpaper? I think we'll put that spooky wallpaper I custom made on as well. And now on the inside. So you hold down the shift key on your Windows keyboard and left click once the rooms are all linked up with the walls all joined then you just left click with your mouse while you hold down the shift key and it will apply this to the whole room what about the inside of here yes we need the inside there as well i think Now we're going to put down some outdoor paving. Yes, a little little veranda area 
people they can walk outside and throw people they don't like over the edge. Yes, that's right. So they can push people over into their swimming pool with a shark downstairs. Yes, maybe we should put a shark in the swimming pool. Yes, now I'm not encouraging violence though, dear. You can't do that in real life. That's just evil if you do that in real life. You don't ever push anyone over the edge of a building. It's dangerous. You'd never do that. No. In The Sims, you can do lots of things, of course. So that looks good. That roof looks quite good, I think. So darker colour for the roof. That's good. Now I think we need to put some rails around the outside edge of that little walkway too, don't we? So yes, I quite like that roof colour. I think that's quite good. Yes, that looks a bit spooky, doesn't it, love? Yes, it does. It looks a bit spooky. Oh, very good. I like that. It's very dark, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. Now maybe we should look at... Now should we look at walls or windows? Maybe we should look at doors and windows. Now I kind of want a spooky window. Yes, a spooky window. I don't know if I like these ones. I want something that's got a black rim. Like black window sills. Yes, they kind of like church windows, aren't they? I don't know if I might like those either. They might be alright, but I don't know. What do you think, love? Should we try that? I think they're a bit small. They're a bit small, like my ex-husband, so I don't know if... Yes, I don't know if we'll go with those. Oh, those are a bit blue, a bit bright and a bit, um, it's a bit colourful. These are quite good. I don't think they're the right style for this building. I want something a bit spooky. Yes, it's not very spooky, is it, love? No, not very spooky. One of those window bay seats, no. I don't think it's not the right style for this house, no. I think we want something a bit more scary looking. These are too colourful. Now, I don't know about window boxes in this particular building. That's quite good too, but I'm not sure if I like that. Well, let's try this one. Does it come in black? Oh, it does. Well, that's the inside, is it? Well, that looks alright, I think. It's a bit bigger. Yes, that might do. Let's try these, shall we? Let's put some more of them on here. They quite suit the style of the house, I think. Yes, I quite like those. Oh, let's put some more on. Let's try some here. And put one underneath as well. We'll try and keep them in, in lines so that they are above and below. So they're par parallel with each other, yes. I think parallel, yes. Now I need to re redo that because I chose the wrong colour there. I put the um, inside of it. Yes, I think that's better. I don't know if it's the inside or the outside of the window. But regardless, it looks alright because it's got the black frames on it, which suits the house paint, yes. Oh, I quite like those windows. Lovely. Now, I think we'll actually leave some space there for a door though, won't we? Because they want to walk outside onto that platform. Yes, they do. So we'll have to put some windows over here instead. It's right this way around, so it's black on the outside. Yes, and then down below. Oh, very nice. I like this. Add an extra window there, shall we? I don't know. No, I think we'll just go around and have a look. Yes, now I think we might. We might put some windows around here too, love. Yes, we are.
Yes, I think that looks good, having three windows on each side. On that part over there, that wall needs painting, doesn't it, love, or it needs wallpaper. So another, another couple of windows up the top here. Oh, that's looking a bit spooky, isn't it, love? It's a cross between corny and spooky, isn't it, dear? dear isn't it? Yes, it is. Now maybe we should try some carpet in one of the rooms, what do you think? I think maybe some carpet, yes. Now I don't know if I like that, we might have to do a control Z like this and undo it, yes. So control on a Windows keyboard and then the letter Z, or what we call in Australia the letter Z, yes. So in America they call it Z, but in, in Australia and New Zealand they call it um, Z. Yes, we do in Australia. So now we're going to choose some windows again. Well, some doors actually. I'm going to put the door in the centre here, but it's not going to quite go into the centre, is it, love? No, because it's a Sims 2, and the Sims 2 doesn't do doesn't do the middle. No, it doesn't really do middles, love. put it right there and then we'll have to move the window to make it look a bit better. That might be a bit too far across, what do you think? Yes, it's a little bit too spacious between the door and the window, so we'll drag that in a little bit. Here we go. And I think we also need to put some more windows in, don't we love? Yes, windows and stairs. Now where have my windows gone? My favourite windows have disappeared, love. Where are you, windows? Windows, where are you? I know what you're thinking, love, while you're watching this and you hear me say that about windows. You're thinking, Nana Beryl, why do we want to chase after windows when we've got Linux and, and Mac OS, love? Yes, most people don't go chasing after windows. Gone over here. Oh, very good. There we go. Now I put some more of these in. Yes, I like that. And maybe put some more around here. Put another one in. Yes. Now what about around this side? I think we'll put two or three here, so they can see outside and see the backyard. Very good, I like that. Yes, that's very nice. Yes, I do like that. Now we're going to need some stairs to get up into the house because we've got a foundation. There's a little bit of a rise. So we go into this little stair tool down the bottom. Not the biggest steps, the little ones. And we just place those up here until we get the position correct and then left click. And again, the same thing beside it. Now put some rails on, which is a rail tool at the side here, and then you just click again on either side, and there we go. We have a little stepping area, we can step up into the house. Now we might put some tiles out there, some concrete tiles on the platform above it. There we go. That looks quite good, doesn't it love? Yes it does. Now let's have a look over here on the other side. We don't need to do the same thing when we put a door in here, aren't we? Yes, we will. First of all, we need a door though, don't we, love? Yes, we do. Now, where are some gothic-looking doors or some spooky doors, love? wonder if I should put one of these doors in or the ones I put in the back. We'll try this again, shall we? I think we will. Should we do double doors or single doors? What do you think? I think we might stick with these these doors. I think we'll go back to the door we had, I think. Maybe. Have got anything else spooky? Oh, that doesn't look right, does it, love? No, I think we need to go with the style of the windows too. So I think we'll go back to something with glass in it. Yes, I think we'll try these again. I 
I think we'll put it near to the middle as possible. And then we just need some stairs again, love. Yes, we do. So some mini stairs, same style as the back. Here we go, now some rails again. Yes, those rails so that if you get drunk at night and come home, you don't fall over because you can hold on to the rails, love, and get into the house. That's right. So if you have a few too many wines or beers or vodka, you can still get up the steps and get inside, yes, because that helps if you can get inside the house at night when you come home after having a good time at your birthday party, yes, love. I quite like the staircase too, it's quite grand. It reminds me of a theatre we have here in Australia that has stairs like that, yes, where you go upstairs, quite a grand building. Yes, I'll put a wall in downstairs, shall we? Put some walls in. Might be helpful, eh? Yes, it might be. Now, should we extend the walls out here more? Or should we just let them go through the back? I think maybe about there, yes. And take away that extra bit of wall, I think, after we've finished, shall we? Should we make that a bit more even? Yes, we'll take this little bit away here, I think. Yes, we will. Take that away. And remember to take walls away at all that you've just built. You just have the wall tool on and press control on your Windows keyboard and then you just go back over the same wall again as though you're building it but with the control key held down and that will undo what you've just what you've just done. This will allow you to um, go back over the wall and delete that little area that you select. Now we might make a corridor in there too, somewhere I think. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't think that looks right, does it love? No, you can't fit in there. I think over the other side maybe put a corridor in. It's a little bit uneven, isn't it, love? I think maybe we should change that. Should we just leave that as an open doorway? Should we take out the whole wall? Hmm. What to do, love? Yes, now take that away, I think, and we'll just put another wall in there. Helps if I put it on the correct angle, doesn't it, love? Yes, so it can attach itself properly. There we go. Now, let's put some wallpaper on, or some paint. Where's my ghostly paint? There it is. Now do the other side again, with the shift key, and left click, there we go. Yes, now I think we might need a way to get into the other room, so I might put a corridor in there again, yes, over here, so we can get into the living room, love, yes. And then we'll put some doors in after we've... Maybe we'll paint the walls first, or should we just put a door in first? What do you think, love? Do you think we put a door in first, or do we paint it? I think we'll paint it, yes. Yes, we'll do the painting. Here we go. I quite like this wallpaper, even though it's a bit tacky. At least it doesn't look like someone threw up their Fruit Loop cereal all over it, does it, love? No, it doesn't. I've seen some wallpapers that some people make that look like they've swallowed a few too many Skittles and some M&Ms and then drunk a whole lot of Kool-Aid and then threw up on the wallpaper. Yes, that's what it looks like, love. But I think mine looks a little bit better than that. It's a little bit more neutral, isn't it, dear? Yes, it's neutral. It's neutrally spooky. Now I'm going to put a door in as well because it helps if we have doors to get inside the room. Otherwise I just have to stand there and not be able to go to the toilet or do anything. And they won't be able to go to bed and they won't be able to go into the kitchen and cook. Yes, no they won't. And they'll just starve. Yes, that's right, they'd starve. So we have to give them some doors. Yes, doors help. That looks not, that's not too bad, is it, love? It's the dark door. Where shall we put it? Should we put it right there? Hmm. 
or over here, love? Is I think over here, maybe somewhere. Big decisions. Yes, I think that looks quite good in the middle. And maybe a door over here. And another door. Yes, I think a door here somewhere. And a door over here in the corridor. Yes, another one over there so I can get into the living room. Or dance hall. Looks like a dance hall, doesn't it? Except with ghostly wallpaper. Yes, ghostly paint or wallpaper. Might just open that up a bit. So I've just got one door there, another door into the other room. That's right, love. got quite a selection of doors in The Sims 2, haven't they? Although this is the Ultimate Collection version, which has got all the different expansion packs with it. See, back in the day, they used to call these expansion packs. They weren't called DLCs because they weren't downloadable content. They were expansion packs that you purchased separately. I've actually got some of these. It's funny because I've got the Ultimate Edition version but I've also got a couple of the separate versions of it that I first purchased years ago. And they came on a CD um, ROM, a CD ROM, and um, you put the first one in, and then you had all these other ones you had to load on. And from memory, you had to actually put the disc in. Um, but you can make a disc image of it and play it straight off your. Uh, disk drive in your computer. So your solid state drive or your hard disk drive, love. Yes, you can. Now, do we put some more windows in? I think we should put some more windows above as well. We might put a few windows in below. Now, where have my windows gone again? They're in the second panel, aren't they? That's right. And they are over here. That's right. So what about these ones at the top? What do you think? Top and bottom? Makes it look more like a spooky house, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I put quite a few windows over here, I think, in the house to make it look spooky. Two windows there to make it look spooky. And maybe we should put some more up the top, including at the back. Yes, maybe put some up here. Now trying to get them perpendicular. Yes, perpendicular. It's a good word, isn't it, love? Perpendicular, yes. Looks like quite a grand building with all the windows, doesn't it, love? Yes, it does. I quite like that. Should we put some more windows in the top up here somewhere? Maybe down below too. We need some downstairs, don't we? We've got very many windows downstairs. We've got plenty up here, but I don't know about downstairs. Yes, they need some more. make it look even more grand because it looks a bit mismatched otherwise so I think we'll put some downstairs love so I'm just going to save that so that I don't lose it yes so it has a tile floor well actually it has concrete a poured concrete floor I think is it concrete tiles or poured I think it was That's looking quite good, I think. But I do think you could do with some windows below, maybe, to make it look more like it belongs, because the bottom part of it doesn't look quite right, does it, love? Yes, we need it matched with more windows. So, I think we'll go back to our window selection tool. Yes, and we'll choose some windows from the level 2 and choose that and choose the black version of it 
and we'll put small windows at these to match the upper areas. And then along the sides here as well, love. Yes, we'll put some more windows here. We need to make sure we match them though to the right place, don't we? Yes, we do, so that they're perpendicular. That's right, perpendicular. Now we're going to try around the other side now too, aren't we? Well, those look a bit wrong, don't they? We need to move that window. Here we go. And we need to have some more windows that are perpendicular to the other ones, yes. Window one and window two, love, yes. Now some more on the side here. Window one, window two, and window three. Very nice, yes, that looks better. Very spooky. I don't know if we'll build an outside area outside of the house right now, but we will put some rails up there, I think, on that little platform, on that little veranda outside. I think we need to put some rails. So we'll go in here to the rail tool, a little fencing area, and we'll put some of these rails, well, fencing is more or less what we use, we use fences. And we've got a little black one there, look like it's made from cast iron, and put that around the edge of this little veranda. So they can walk outside and have a look outside and go, oh, isn't it amazing? Isn't the CGI sky amazing, love? Yes, it is. Same with the CGI ground. It's incredible. Never seen anything like it in my entire life, they'll be saying. Yes, they will. Yes, now, I think we'll put a door in here instead of a window so they can get out onto the veranda. This might be helpful, eh, love? Yes, it will. Now, should we put a single door in there, or should we put a double door set in there as well? I think maybe uh, maybe a single door this time, possibly. Yes, so they've got more room. Yes, now I think we'll save that again. Now the loading times aren't too bad in The Sims 2, they're actually quite good for things like saving, it's not too bad. You don't have to go away and bake a cake, and bake a loaf of bread, and have a bar mitzvah and then come back and then it will be finished, but no, this, this one's fairly quick at saving in The Sims 2. I quite like that love, yes I do. I think that looks quite nice, don't you? I'm quite happy with that. Now we could build some outdoor area at the back, we could build some grounds and have like a barbecue area, but I think we don't want to make it too Australian because it's meant to be a spooky house. Yes. I think that looks quite good and quite spooky. Don't know if I'd want a house like that though, because it's a bit spooky and being black it might attract the heat, because black is um, it's an actual shade that attracts heat, yes it does. That's why you're supposed to wear white t-shirts in summer because it reflects the light, believe it or not. But black, believe it or not, absorbs a lot of the sunlight and actually makes you hotter. That's why, it, why, that's why um, black t-shirts fade in the sunlight a lot because they attract the light and heat to them. They absorb a lot of the light and heat. Yes, they do. So probably wear the paint out on a real house, if you had it painted all black, it would probably fade quite quickly. I quite like that though, yes. So thank you for watching my video. Tune in next time for more Nana Beryl videos, where we move someone into the spooky house. Thanks for watching Sausage, have a nice day, bye. Thank you.